Hello everyone, today we will explain about summarizing getting to the point. My name is Natasha. First of all, summarizing is a shortened message written in my own words, but still have the important information of the original text. It presents large chunks of information, in short, a cohesive sentence. A cohesive sentence should be an independent sentence, which means sentence should have a subject and a verb. So, the next one is, what is needed for a good summary, or how to make a good summary? There are four elements that we should remember when making a summary. First is concise, accuracy, third, objectivity, and the last one is your, just your own word. Concise means that the, summar, the summary must contain all the basic information, 5W1H, but not the irrelevant info. Uh, the basic information is what, who, where, when, why, and how. Second is accuracy. Accuracy means that the summarize should provide a clear and precise picture of the material include the inform important information. Must be clear and precise. And the third one is objectivity. Summarize should only contain the original author viewpoint, not your own or we should try to see from the outer viewpoint, not subjectivity. And the last one is use your own words. It's really important because um, when we make a summary, we have to make sure that we understand our summary clearly. So it must be simple and understandable words. Okay, the next one will be continued by my friend. Hi, my name is Fania and now I'm going to explain about the stages of summarizing. So, the first thing we should do when we summarize is to read the original text carefully and check any hard vocabulary. And then second, we should find the key points by underlining or highlighting. And then third, we should make sentences of the key points and paraphrase where possible. And then fourth, we should write the paragraph from the sentences that we have made and reorganize the structure if needed. And then the last, we should check the summary to ensure it is well structured and nothing important has been changed or lost. So now I'm going to give an example of summarizing. So in the text shown, we should first read it and check any vocabulary that we don't understand to completely know the information in the text and not misunderstand it. We should find the key points and also find information like who wrote this text and what does the author want to convey. In summarizing, we should not use our own opinion. In this text, the key points are wealth and value. The author wants to convey that there are bad and good ways to become wealthy. The good ways is by adding values to society and the bad way is by taking away from the society. The author also tell us an example that taking away from others will have a bad end result with the story of a monopolist that overcharged its customer resulting not only losing wealth but also value as a monopolist. Based from the information that we get, we could make the summary. Ciclitz 2013 suggests that creating wealth adds value to society, but that taking away the wealth of others distracts from it. He uses the example of a monopolist who offered charts for his product resulting in loss of wealth for the customer, but also loss of value as the monopolist has to restrict production in order to charge the higher price. So basically, the word summarizing contains of the word sum, which is F is shorter than the text, U is use your own words, and M is main ideas only. So that is all for our presentation about summarizing. Thank you for watching.